Sup everybody, Billy Hank here to review a 2015 Lego Ninjago set. It is the Titanium Dragon set 70748. And it cost about eh, 30 bucks, I think. And then it has 360 pieces, three minifigs. So, first up we have Klaus. Here he is. He's like the second in command of the artificial anachondria army. He's got some very nice printing on the legs and torso. See his eyes are green. That's because he can open up other dimensions. It's pretty cool. Turn his hair around. There's his normal face. There's the back. Next up we have Chopper Eye. Here he is, and he is an artificial anaconda. So basically what that means is he was uh, just a regular human, and then he got turned into an anaconda. Because he's got the sword of the anaconda. He's got some nice leg printing right there, or tail printing. If you guys have seen some of my other Ninjago reviews, you know, the Serpentine, they have these kind of tail, tail pieces. But they don't usually have printing. I mean, some of them do, but not quite as detailed as this. There's his head. There's um, his armor. And I've got Crafty Lou in the background, just in case you hear weird noises. Like me burping. So, I'll move Chop Rye out. So, I'm going to move the dragon out of the way right now. We also have this like little shrine, basically. Crafty Lou, shut up. Yes, sir, Mr. President, sir. And I'm trying to get this catapult thing on. So that's basically what it looks like. And you can see the point of the set is so Zane can get this golden key right there. Which is interesting, they never had that in the show. You got two stickers right there. Which, you know, add to the set. I, I, you know, I don't like stickers. There are those two weapons, which look awesome. And here's the thing for the catapult, which you saw me put in just a second ago. I'll put that back, right? Let's put a uh, titanium dragon right here. And we'll try and shoot Zane off, which will be really hard. We shot the leg. So that's basically this anaconda temple shrine thingamajig. So, that's cool. Here is the titanium dragon itself. You can see it's got a brick built head, and right here you got a mixel ball joint, then a regular ball joint for the neck. <laughs> you can see it's got two teeth. There's the bottom, you can see it's got the translucent thing. Um, I'm gonna take off his head. There's Crafty Lou, shut up can see that they used the old Ninjago skeleton arms for the jaw of this thing, which I think is very creative. Um, the head, I'm not a big fan of, though. I mean, it looks good, but yeah, I it's agree. just kind of weird at some angles. Like, that angle just seems sort of weird. Yeah. They used mixled, or, you know, they just used regular Lego teeth right up there. So, interesting how they did this. So that's that head part. I'm gonna snap that back on. So you got Zane the Titanium Ninja right there, but I'll show you him in a minute. And here we have uh, like the legs, the front legs. We got a sticker there, and these legs are identical. These can move out just like that. And here are the wings. We got three stickers, and the wings are also identical. So, interesting stickers, and these do move just like, you know, the ones on the legs that's on two more ball joints. Ball joints? So, I'll move this thing around, and you can see we got, you know, the feet right here. And here's his tail, it's got those mixed old ball joints. And we've got a nice bionicle ice sword for the tail, which is, I think, good use. Right here we got a bag to uh, size and the legs do you know move up like that just like most dragons the thing that makes this dragon sort of unique is this it moves at the waist right here which I will try to show without totally destroying this thing so that's kinda how that works a piece just fell off and we also get a sticker right up here of Zane's symbol in the middle I don't know how well you can see that because the light um, 
We also have like two Japanese symbols. I, I don't know what those mean. They could be Chinese. They kind of look the same to me. And, you know, nice detail up here. So that's the dragon. Let's uh, get Zane down so I can show you. And here we have one of the main, or I would have to say one of the big draws to the set is Zane the Titanium Ninja. And he's exclusive. And this is basically after Zane died, he rebuilt himself since he's a robot. And I've reviewed all the rebooted sets, which is basically, you know, when Zane dies, and then here he is after he's rebuilt. Spoiler alert. So there's his logo. You can see he's got two uh, shurikens in his belt. He's got the knee pads. This is the Zookin version of Zane. And he's got Zookin. a symbol right there. There's his face. And in the corner, you can see PXL which stands for Pixel, the Android Assistant, which was in the rebooted line. She came in the Ninja Copter. I reviewed that set, which is in my Ninjago playlist. There's his other face. I prefer that one for obvious reasons. Here's the back. So, that is Zane, the Titanium Ninja. So there we have the titanium dragon and crafting this catch jumped over. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And be sure to stick around for more Ninjago reviews. Catch you guys later.